Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, what's up? I am Linda Nicole. For those of you returning to my channel again, thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And today's video is going to be what is in my makeup bag. So we're gonna jump right into that in just a moment. So, um, if you did watch my moving vlog, you will see I'm in a new space. I am downstairs in a nice basement with the cute little throw pillows. And this little eyesore right here will be hung above the couch sooner than later. I hope it is on the honeydew list. And well, let's just be real. I don't know when it's going to get done. So um, that's kind of what's going on right now. But um I'm gonna jump right in to the what's in my makeup bag. Now, this is not my everyday makeup makeup bag. Otherwise, we would be here for hours and hours and hours on end. But this is my small little makeup clutch. It is a black glittery um, number seven brand uh, makeup pouch that I keep in my purse for on-the-go touch-ups and if I for any reason had a little emergency and I was out in public and I needed to throw some makeup on my face then I could do that. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, I usually do use some of the products in here every single day on my face. So I'm going to pull a couple of little things out and just kind of go over them one by one. I do have a beauty sponge in here. It is very worn and tattered, kind of being um, used up. This is from uh, the Cream Shop brand, which I love these. I can't really find them much anymore, but they used to be at Walgreens for like, I don't know, five or six bucks. Um, but I haven't found any in a while, but I just, I do need to get a couple of new ones because these are my favorite cheap beauty sponges. Um, I do have the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation for combination skin. It is a foundation stick and it is in number 120 Classic Ivory. Um, it does look like this right here. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's not my favorite because if you can see, it kind of just sits on the skin a little bit when you go to blend it out. Um, I mostly will use this. Um, on my nose area because in the fall and winter time I do have a lot of allergies so I blow my nose a lot so I'll just kind of dot it around the nose area blend it in and call it good um, it does kind of blend down to like a powdery type finish so it's nice but it's not the best makeup stick it is one of the just throw it in my bag and use it for touch-ups type of makeup up, I have a mascara for the days that I do wear my lashes. I have the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Retro Glam Mascara, and it has this nice big wand. I actually will use this quite frequently. It has this nice big fluffy uh, wand. Um, I really like this a lot. It works great. So I will use it even on days where I don't need to use you know, just the emergency makeup and touch up, blah, blah, blah. I have two different little powder puffs. This is one from e.l.f. that I just recently got. And this is a, I don't know what brand this is, but this is one that I use. And I keep these in my bag because I'm at work, I do hair, and sometimes I will need to kind of dust off little flecks of hair that get on my face before I go ahead and try to touch up any makeup so I have a nice technically clean a slate to restart that makeup touch-ups with. So um, I'll just kind of use these. So I just throw in a couple cheap ones in my makeup bag and keep it moving. Um, I do have some of my favorite brow products in here. This is one that I do need to repurchase. This is uh, the Soap and Glory Archery 2-in-1 Brow Sculpting and Setting. So, um, looks like this and it is a um, kind of a like teardrop shaped nice pencil but as you can see here clicking and nothing's coming up so 
Unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna need to repurchase this and I have this, I believe this is the blonde shade, if I can see it on here. Uh, I still have the box, so I will definitely double check the color before I repurchase. And then on this end, there is a clear brow gel. So if you can see that. And I always like to use a brow gel to set my brows in place before I head to work and continue my long day. And I do have a brow pencil from Rimmel. I do not know what color. It is 002 Hazel. So that is a, just a nice little cool tone brown, no reddish tint to it, thank the Lord. And I will usually on a daily basis, these are the two brow pencils that I use almost every single day, I will use this for the arch on back to the tail of my brow to darken it up, give it a little bit of depth, and I'm good to go. I do not like when my brow pencils have too much warmth in them. So let me pull out the other products that I have been using um, for my brows as well so we can just get all of the brows step out of the way so I have a little brush here I do not know where this came from but I love the spoolie on this it is worn to death and then it has a little angle brush here which I will use sometimes to blend the lighter and the darker colors or if I make any little mistakes just kind of swipe it away it's a very small compact perfect for fitting in a traveling makeup bag I have a concealer brush which I use this every single day to carve out my eyebrows, which I will get to that a little more in a second. And these are the two concealers that I have thrown in my bag. First, we have one from the Wet n Wild Photo Focus range. This is in Light Ivory. Now, this is my go-to everyday uh, concealer, but this one had only a little bit left in the tube, so I decided I was going to just throw this one in my bag and use it for carving up my brows. And this I did show in one of my hauls. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection and number 125 Fair. So I used this today to carve out my brows. Uh, you just kind of squeeze some out. I will squeeze a little bit on the back of the hand. And for those of you that are new, or, or new in general to doing your eyebrows. You're gonna make some mistakes. You're gonna make some boo-boos. They may not look perfect. They may not look great. So best thing to do, put a little concealer on the back of your hand, get you a nice concealer brush. You don't have to have something absolutely as big as this, but I like this because what I will do is then I will take the leftover concealer and slide it down my eyelid for my eye primer. So take a little bit and then just clean up, go around almost like an eraser, clean up the edges of your eyebrows and they will look perfect. They will look like you know exactly what you're doing. It's a great trick even for people who are very experienced. We will still use that trick of carving out the eyebrows and cleaning up our mistakes. Next up, another brow product, which I was using for quite a while. This is the Maybelline New York Brow Drama Pro Palette, and it has a brow highlighter, a brow powder, and a brow, a tinted brow wax. And the spoolie and the little, uh, the little brushes that come in here are not bad. I mean, you can use them in a pinch, but this is, you know, what comes in it. So you've got your highlighter, your brow powder, and your tinted brow gel. This is in the color blonde. And again, no red undertones. I will still use this occasionally, um, but I found my great eyebrow um, combo that I'm using every day right now, like I just showed you. So this is just kind of a, you know, an every once in a while thing. Up next, we have a Wet n Wild Brown Eyeliner. Um, I will throw this in the waterline every once in a while. It is just a nice chocolatey brown color. That swatch right there, that is it. I don't always like to put black in the waterline. Today I have more of a um, like bronzy color in the waterline. I don't know if you can see that, but I have like a nice bronzy color in the waterline because I don't want it to be too, too dark. So that's what I've been doing lately. Up next, I have another Rimmel product. This is the um, 001 Transparent. I believe this is the 
uh, pressed setting powder. I think the stuff on the front wore away, but it is just a nice, you can barely even see anything on this little ring finger right here. It's just a nice translucent powder. You can set the face with it. Um, sometimes I will take a powder like this. Lately I've been using um, a more shimmery Wet n Wild brand powder to um, dust over my eyelids to set the concealer in place after I have carved with the eyebrows and brought down the concealer over my whole eyelid. I will just dust a translucent type powder over that to set everything in place so it doesn't slip and slide around where I have, you know, finished that up and then I'm ready to put my eyeshadow on. So that's that. I have a little compact on the go um, palette from The Balm. This is the California Auto Balm Driver License Palette and it is, um, it's really cute. It has, has a little mirror inside. It has a blush, a highlighter shade, a crease or brow shade. So this is a great brow color too. It's kind of like a um, cool tone, medium brown color. So it would be good for brown hair, uh, blonde hair, and then a darker lid or liner shade that is very sparkly and pretty. So I will use this on the go sometimes, um, sometimes just because, but I really like this. I know that there is another one that is like this and I think it is a Hawaii one if I'm not mistaken and it looks like a little driver's license. Um, I love the Balm cosmetic line in general. I have a couple things from them that I just really all around like. They always have such cute little like cheeky type names. I think it's adorable. I love it. Now one, two, two brushes that I have. Um, the first one is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It is a fluffy blending eyeshadow brush. And this is the brush that I actually use to um, dust the translucent powder over my shade. Uh, I'm sorry, over my lid before I do, you know, the shading with the eyeshadow. Um, so sorry if you can hear the footsteps because the family is above me. I am downstairs in our basement and they are just walking around like horses and you can just hear them like galloping across the floor. I don't know what they're doing up there. All right, um, the next brush I have, it is an Eco Tools double-ended brush. I use this every single day to contour my nose. I will use this to draw two nice little narrow lines on my nose, and I just do it here and here, and then I will highlight in the center. My nose is slightly crooked. If you look at it straight on without any makeup on or without anything on it, you will notice there's a little slant to it. It's no big deal. I don't worry about the little imperfections, but it's something cute that makeup can fix. And then I'll take the fluffier end right here and I will blend it all out. And that's that. Next up, I have an eyeliner. It is so worn off. I wanna say this is Maybelline. I don't know, it is just a black um, pencil eyeliner. I'm sorry, a mechanical like click up eyeliner that I keep in my bag and then it has the little tip right here to smudge it out. If you wanna do like a smokier look, that's what that is. It, I've had it for so long, all the marking has worn off. So I don't know who exactly makes it. Next up, I have some Kish, Kiss, <laughs> Kish, Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. Now this is the first lash glue that I've ever bought and that was like a separate lash glue. Um, I really like this. For whatever reason, once you put it on the strip lashes though, it does seem to kind of turn bluish looking. I don't know if that's the mix of the drying glue with um, the black color of the lash strip, lash band, whatever. Um, it doesn't stay blue, but it's just a weird thing that I've noticed and it's dirty because I let my friend use the glue one day and she got glue all over the place. So that's that. Now every day when I do my lips, I usually will throw whatever lip color I'm wearing into my bag so when I'm at work, I can just 
touch up if I need to. I did show these um, in one of my videos. This is the LA Color um, Matte Liquid Lip Color and Lip Liner Duo. This is, let's see the color of this one, Vixen. And I love this color. I'm not wearing it today, but I did wear it yesterday at work. So I'm gonna swatch it right there on my hand. It's a nice, like, light mauve pink. It is, I would say it's definitely in the nude family. And I'm gonna swatch the lip liner right next to it, which I need to sharpen this baby. So right there, we've got the lip liner and the matte lip cream. The lip liners are not really soft and creamy, but they definitely work. I do absolutely love the newer products that I picked up from the LA Colors line. I picked up quite a few things. I recently picked up their Illuminating Palette, and they have a lot of really nice highlighters. I'm actually wearing one today. I don't know if you can see it because the lighting down here is a little weird, but that is what I had on my lips yesterday. And the highlighter I've been wearing a lot. There are, I want to say like maybe eight to ten colors and this huge giant palette that you get. So it's wonderful. Next up I have a wet and wild um, like fluffy angled brush. Um, it is like wearing away. This was like a cheap little brush. You can see the um, like paint is like chipping away. So I might have to get rid of this soon, but I keep it in here just for the blushes and the other little powders if I need to just like lightly, you know, touch up something. There's a little brush and it's a decent size so it will fit in the bag good. I did have some Bare Minerals brushes that I kept in there because they were nice to use and they were short so they would fit in the bag great. I don't know why I took those out, so I might have to find those and pull them back in. Um, next brush I have is a little retractable kabuki brush from Tarte. Now, funny story behind this, it does not retract anymore. Well, this the lid pulls up, but that's about it because um, it kind of works, but it broke, so I had to glue it back together so that I didn't just have like the fluffy end of it. Um, and then I don't know what I did with the lid. So it does kind of retract up like that. And then the lid is God knows where. But I will keep that in there too just because it's a very small, small brush. Good for on the go. And next up, back to the eyelash thing. I have this little thing. I absolutely love it. It needs to be cleaned. But it is like a pair of lash tweezers. And then it has this little tool. It looks like a cuticle um, tool. But it is perfect for pressing down the lashes, getting your lashes on the way that you need to get them on. I bought this and um, I actually have two of these. They came, one I, I bought I think it came with the lash glue when I bought the lash glue. That's why I kind of got it because I was like, oh, this is great. I will use this just for my lashes so I don't get glue all over my good tweezers. And then I got a second pair and a big like multi-pack of lashes that I got. So I have two, one I haven't even used yet, and this guy that I keep in my bag. Next up, we have a good pair of tweezers, which I will mostly use these at work. And it has like a little girl on the front of it, which at the time when they were given to me, it was like, oh, they kind of look like you. These are like my favorite, favorite tweezers. They're great for plucking the brows. But for any hairstylists that are watching this, you know a hair splinter is a bee with an itch. Like you don't know what. Sometimes you don't feel them until you get home or even a couple days later. A hair splinter is basically just somebody's cut hair that can land in one of your follicles or land in your skin and splinter into the skin and it hurts very bad. It's annoying and they can actually, if they land right into a follicle and get a blood source, they can start to grow. So you want to get them out as quickly as you can. So I will keep these around with me while I'm at work and pull out any hair splinters that I may come across. We're getting to the bottom of the bag. I have up next an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black. I like this. It is a felt tip pen. I will use this when I am wearing lashes to kind of touch up around the lash band if anything shows. 
Um, it's very black, very pigmented. There's a little swatch of roux for you. It does dry completely matte. I know a lot of people like a more matte look than a glossy black liquid liner, and I don't blame you because I'm the same way. So that is that. I do have this Rimmel and Kate Clear Lipstick. So I will use this, and it does have a little color on the edge of it because I will use this sometimes like as a lip topper um, to kind of seal in my lipstick if I'm wearing something that is not very long lasting. Um, but it is clear, it's basically just a clear lipstick. So if I swatch it, you're not gonna see anything, which I'm going to anyway though, just to kind of show you that like right there. It's just like a little, if I move it back and forth, you can see a little sheen. So it's like a, just a nice glossy little sheen to put over your lips and it smells good too it smells kind of like fruity but not overpowering I do have a prestige brand um, brow liner crown and this is an 03 blonde and I really like this let's see if I can drying out a little bit but I actually will use this too this is another go-to right there I swatched it so it's um compared to this liner right there it's a lot more lighter it's more blonde it's a true good blonde like a taupe like a light taupe color and then on the end of it it does have a little um, side spoolie there so you can use I don't necessarily like the ones that are like this they are always a little bit too hard a little bit too harsh for my taste but on the go, sometimes you just have to work with what you work with. You know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. Two products left. I have an e.l.f. eyelid primer. I can't say this is my favorite, but what I will do sometimes with eyelid primers and because the shade is like a nude creamy color, it's a little goopy, not very smooth but when my nose gets very dry and I wear glasses, this might be a good trick for those of you who have drier skin, um, very textured nose areas, or even just wear glasses and you don't want your makeup to rub off so easily. A very good trick, skip your regular face primer on the nose area and use a clear or a skin tone tinted eyelid primer over the nose area. Let it dry and do your foundation on the nose area last because it will definitely smooth that area out so much better. I was watching um, another YouTuber, Nikia Joy, and I saw that was one of her little tips and tricks that she shared. And I have tried it so many times. Luckily, my nose does not peel like it used to. I'm gonna see if this winter it happens again because it was last winter that I had so much trouble with that problem. So we'll see, but at least now I know a nice, great way to keep that look from happening because it was just a horrible, horrible look. Last product in my bag. This is actually pretty old and the handle is horribly dirty, but this is a Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss in Illumi. I believe that is the color. So it's just a clear pink shaded gloss. I actually really like this. Sometimes just throwing it, um, I just swatched it right there. So it's very, very pretty. Just on the lips alone, it's very pretty. Sometimes I will top it on top of like another shade like the one that I showed you guys earlier from LA Colors. Um, it goes great with like another nude type. It has a very lightly shimmery color and I'm full of swatches now. Um, but I do love this gloss. I've had it for a very long time and I'm just gonna use it until I don't have any more. All right, so that is what is in my makeup bag. It's empty and flat now, and I, yes, yeah, surprisingly can fit all of that and almost enough for a full face back into this bag. I do switch out some things now and then, but for the most part, I try to keep a lot of the stuff pretty basic or at least, you know, if I know I need a, you know, concealer, there's going to be a concealer in there of 
some kind. You know what I mean. Um, so anyway, thank you all for sticking around and watching my full video. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. It'll be that first link right down below, that big red box that says subscribe. And hit the thumbs up if you liked this video. It helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I love you guys. Bye.